for Deutsche Telekom, the machine-to-machine -machine part is one of the focus areas for the, for the future. We are really willing to invest a lot in people and, in, at the end of the day, technology. Most important thing is to separate the M2M business from the daily classical business of a telecommunication provider. That's the reason why we have built up our machine-to-machine -machine competence center. Deutsche Telekom has selected the M2M market in overall nine segments. The top three are automotive, energy and healthcare. And the number four for us is public sector. Public sector means for us connected city. Connected city in step one is really to collect data from all the different uh, applications like parking system and traffic measurement and all these things. And in step two, collect this data for new services, for example. That's the reason why we are here. A lot of these uh, sensor networks we have existing in the world because on one side uh, you can using, for example, we are showing here a parking system with these small caps you can add in the, on the street. On the second way, for example, you can use the sensors in your mobile phones. We have realized so many different projects to using sensors and mo mobile phone for, for different machine-to-machine -machine applications. Normally you build up silos, but we have to switch it more from a silo-driven business to an independent horizontal-driven business. That's important. If not, you cannot make it more scalable. It's important to make it more scalable because then everybody is using it. That's the reason why in this way we are working together with IBM, because we can transform this data into new services. You need big partners, partnerships to, to, to enter this new market. Everybody, first of all, is talking about SIM cards, SIM connectivity, but it's a mix. You will start with pure SIM connectivity, you need wireline technology, sensor networks, near-field communication. It's a mix of all of them. If you are talking about 50 billion connect machines, it's a mix of all. Have a look in the smart city, for example, parking systems are an enterprise customer. The same is coming up for traffic. Traffic could happen that's more driven by uh, the local government. It's step by step. You have to collect all this data and see what's happened with this data to generate new services. Be really careful with the data, to handle all this data really in a careful way, that's important. And to make it a new, to make, first of them to make them neutral and then to check in which way it makes sense to share it, to build it up with new services. But really to be careful with data, that's the most important thing, secure data. Check what you're doing with your data because it could be private data and it's not allowed to, 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 to distribute in any form private data. Crowd data could be more interesting. That's the next step, how to generate more of this in a neutral form, independent of private information. That's important.